Where are we going, guys? I don't know. And we just ate a sandwich. Yep. None of us know what was in it. No. So I think it's pretty safe to say that we're like veteran travellers now. Oh, <laughs> this is Mark's sandwich. I've got to spin the camera around, so it's really hard to actually get this in. Yeah, that's what he managed to get in his sandwich. So mine was only 25 cents. So his I'm was only yeah. 25 cents. This is what <laughs> ours were like. Well, just get bread. I yeah. Just get bread. So that's a safe bet. I didn't know that was a choice. Cost 50 cents, and they use US dollars in Cambodia, which is a bit, a bit yeah. weird. But <laughs> what are you gonna do? So yeah, we're off to Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat. This is a serious one to check off the bucket list. <laughs> Tomb Raider set. This is like I think where one of them was filmed. It is one of the most amazing places I've ever been in my life, and I've done quite a few. What do you think, Autumn? It's pretty awesome. It's pretty fucking awesome. She got it down right. I've just been walking around and just thought to myself, this is only our second day in Cambodia. see any more steps in the next few days I'm gonna kick off I'm fed up of steps endless fucking steps we're both do you, do you have to do that now yeah <laughs> it's like five stairs <laughs> oh yeah that's what it was yeah five and it's 20 past one it's about yeah. I'm just hovering in the back why is it like I'm gonna say 40 degrees just because yeah. it's not that hot it's no, not, well, like maybe 35. 35. 35. How many stairs do you think it was? But they're like ladder not, stairs. Not enough vertical. to justify us being this out of breath. Yeah. All this sweaty. Yeah. But the I have a beard. Been, the sweat's been happening all day though. It's been but like the beard makes up. my neck hot, which makes my face sweaty. I think that's Jesus' way of telling you to shave it. About to walk out and we've got one over then. <laughs> Good start to the video. Pretty chill day today. Finally, we've got a stop off so we don't have to get up to catch the bus the next morning. It's the day after going to see Angkor Wat. Oh, I think we've got a free space. I'm probably gonna die trying to cross the road. Okay, let's just go, babe. Yeah, we all fucking the one that's walking out. Was it on here? You So I'm gonna go get my hair cut at a place that does laundry. You can see it over there. And then I think we're gonna hire some bicycles and ride around Sien Reap for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty lazy day today. Got my hair cut. That was the last time I saw me just before going into my hair cut, so that's gonna be a really weird cut for it now being pitch black. We're just try, going to have a look at the night market now. The rest of the group have got some sweet. We just had a pizza earlier on. So we're just trying to weave through the people and the motorbikes. So yeah, I'm gonna go and find Autumn a t-shirt because she keeps having to wear like a jumper or a cardigan when we go to temples, which obviously is stupid in this heat. So we're gonna get me some sandals, like some proper ones that kind of go over your feet and they're a bit more for like walking and hiking so I'm fucking falling over all over the place it's just crazy and then I'm gonna get Ultimate t-shirt 
So we'll show you some of the selection when we get in there, I think. Yeah. Half left. It's really weird, I feel tall around here, which really freaks me out. Hello, Just looking at the minute, thank you. We're done for the night, quite a lazy day today, so not a lot of content, but a good day nonetheless. It was really good because we've been traveling so much. Um, yeah, we've been traveling so much, it's been so busy. I think it is open. We've not. Oh yes, we're gonna get some Sprite for cheap because it's like three times as expensive. It's fucking crazy. Do you want me to get run over? It's really good to kind of have a bit of a rest because it's been so crazy recently that we just needed some R and R, a bit of rest and recuperation, just to kind of get our bearings back, get some laundry done, and then kind of yeah, just take a break from always traveling because we we were seeing all these places but only at like oh, a, a few hours at a time holy shit there's a pizza store in here so yeah yeah we're gonna head back now watch some films it's gonna be good awesome seeing the ice creams my beard looks really big right now white chocolate chip ice creams 75 cents what the hell is this thing Only 75 cents. 75 cents is cheap here, it's usually like two pounds. Like two dollars. Awesome. What have you seen? They got made out. How wonderful. I wonder if we can barter here, I doubt it. Now I've got to wait for three hours until Autumn actually picks what she wants and all we came in is to get a Sprite for me. The last night in Cien Reef is here. Most of them went on a pub crawl last night and got absolutely wankered though, so nobody's getting drunk. Oh. I'm getting more and more pissed off with my haircut each day. I think this woman just fucking may as well murder my hair. I got one, you're just jealous. Dave yeah, got the haircut specifically that I wanted oh, but the woman look, wouldn't look give me it. So last night with Sinead. Sinead. She's not listening. Onward tomorrow to Batam Bank. And so, not really done much video because we've been hopped off, so it's been pretty lazy. Finally, a bit of a chance to relax after traveling every day. So it's been really, really good. We've been new day, new adventure. We're on the way to Batam Bank now. Um, and we've decided to make a stop off to eat wrap. So, that's no. kind of what everyone Don't doing. worry though, these are organic rats. Yeah. Responsibly sourced and farmed, they're local. We eat uh, only organic rice and meat. Yeah. Eat that that yeah, free range rats, they get uh, non GMO cage free rats. <laughs> uh, that's just. Oh, here's the. There we go. That's great. That is fucking. These, these, these are the good ones. I got one, you go ahead and share it, yeah? Yeah, that's a rat, so. Yeah, so as I was saying, new day, new adventure. It's just absolutely pissed it down. We're in Batam Bang now after the, the stop for the rats. Just had some proper lunch. Uh, fried rice for there, autumn had a curry. She's not happy because it wasn't spicy enough. Yeah, so just having a walk around Batam Bang now. And then we're going to go to the, what's it called, the bamboo train. Not, no idea what that's actually going to be like, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, Having like a crisis of confidence with the, the videos and everything, just because I like the whole cinematic stuff, long videos, but I don't have the gear or the editing capability and or the time to be able to do them while I'm out here. So obviously it's more kind of like daily vlogs, but I'm just kind of mashing the two together and I'm really not happy with what I've been doing. So, like I'm struggling to keeping them going but I am I do enjoy them when I'm making them and everything so I will carry on um, I just think I need to actually hone it down to what kind of videos I want to do my mum's coming to meet me in a couple of weeks and I've told her to bring my laptop out so after that things should get a lot better and a lot easier so we'll see how it goes from there so this is a bamboo train
Okay, so we're on the bamboo train. We've lost our driver, as you can see, he's not on the back. Now, so we're nice. actually going backwards. As you can see, we are like slowly rolling backwards because we've lost our driver. He fell off and got caught under the wheel, and now he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's helping. We had to swap over with some of the other people, so there he's putting their train back on the tracks and our rollway, and the others have just like left. My phone is almost full, I'm not quite sure if we've got enough space to do this recording, but the bus is royally stuck now, the fucking thing is stuck. So, we're all like, oh, that is rank and it's warm, it's like walking through diarrhea. Oh, I'll show you what's, we ain't getting out of here. That is the worst time I've ever seen in my life. Fast forward to the night time and the video has pretty much only just been put up. It literally took that long on this internet. So hopefully now you can kind of see. So it took a full day, a full day to upload that. So we're now going to go and find something to eat. I think we're gonna go and get a big XXL burger. I've got some short shorts that I bought in Goa and I literally feel like I'm going out in boxes and the tank tops. That's a little bit weird. But yeah, so pretty, Literally, I couldn't do any filming, obviously, because the phone's just been inside on the internet all day with the charger on, so my battery's probably now fucked. It's so dark that you can't see anything. But yeah, we're just coming down to meet everyone else, and uh, we're going to go and get something to eat. So um, we lose a couple of cool people after tonight, because obviously this the tour that we're on, you do like free hop-ons and hop-offs and stuff, so you can just pick and choose where you want to be. So some of the guys that we're with at the minute are hopping off here and we're not, so they're going to be staying here for longer. But hopefully we should meet up with them later on down the road. The dub! The dub! <laughs> What's the plan then, Alton, today? We're gonna go get fruit. Fruit? What else? Where are we off to? I don't even know the name of it, yeah. To a lake. The island. An island, somewhere. An island? Do you know what the plan is? I can't remember what We're the place is We're going to an island, Cotonse, I believe. Cotonse, it means it's the rabbit island. Isn't it, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> we have finally found the rabbit island like again. <laughs> Been looking for these like ages. <laughs> Yes, yeah, someone's gonna take it out there. There's two beds in the room, every room. That's in Jim James. There's no electricity. Was it at six till? Six till ten, there's electricity and then it all turns off. So I think I can safely say a video will not be uploaded from here. Come on, Mark, make, make me a YouTube millionaire. I'll put it on. I'll put it on. Uh, you be a friend. Get two hundred and fifty quid. Look at him. Look how scared he is. Oh, I think he's safe. So cute. Little baby. Little ears are so cute. I want to kidnap it. We literally just had a fucking lightning strike about 12 feet away and I fucking shit myself. That shit me up, that did. That was fucking scary. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. just left it! <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. And we have a guy at a tree right now. If anybody's hair stands up on end, just fucking run. That hit there, that went there. Guys, this is a Wait, this is a insulator not conductor. No, but what happens is when it hits when it hits wood and things like that, the lightning travels down it and superheats the resin and the oils that are inside the wood, then the whole tree explodes and you get showered and splinters and you die. That's why when they say if you want to run in the lightning, keep just keep running, don't stop and leave. Oh yeah. I'm getting nervous. This is close. It's literally all around. Fucking exhilarating. Because we're fucking in a wooden thing as well. We are literally gonna die. There's nothing here that is not wooden. I'm not sure if you can see that on the other side of the mosquito net. But there is a frog in our room. And I don't think mosquito nets protect against frogs. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are in... No, not Kampot now. We left Kampot yesterday. I can't even remember what this island's called. Huh? Oh, we're in the Rabbit Island. It's like Coat and Say, it's called. We're on Rabbit Island. Um, yeah. Worst night's sleep last night. Pillow was like a sack full of rocks. Horrible. Um, the frog in the room, Brian the frog, kept making noise all night. Um, no fan, no AC, and there's no flushing toilet, no toilet roll, so we're both kind of holding it until we get to the next place. But I think today should be good for doing the killing fields. Um, and then on to Pan on Pen and then we also see the like all the, the details about the Khmer Rouge which was crazy so that's gonna be good. So we're at the killing fields. I finally bought a cap. I know that's finally not got a hat. finally got one. I know that's what I shouldn't really be talking about when we're about to go and see one of the biggest killing fields in Cambodia where yeah. the Khmer Rouge happened. Um, twenty thousand people? Twenty thousand people apparently on this site. Um, but we've got our audio tour things. So we're going to have a walk up. around, we've got two hours, and then on to Pan on Pan, isn't it? Uh, we're going to one of the prisons first. Oh yeah, Prison 21, off. about that. Yeah. Um, about the book. Yeah, What's yeah. the book called though? It's not First I've Killed Your Father, is it? No, it's a different one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't know, there's two books. One of them's First They Killed My Father, which is a must read, and then the other one's like Security 21 or uh, SC21 yeah, or something. SC21, you've got to watch, yeah, so we're just having a group we. We're all going to hold each other's, and then uh, we're going to yeah. go and walk around. So Very we'll see you there. Just got back to the hostel in Phnom Penh, or just got to say, just got back to his first time we've been here. Um, today was, uh, you can't, it's the same as when I went to Auschwitz, you can't really say it's a good day. 
um, but it's a day that you kind of want to do. It's an education. Um, the Killing Fields and uh, Tuong tu tu Sleng, uh, the prison S21, um, we did today. And it's quite harrowing, really. I mean, it's really different to Auschwitz. What stood out to me in Auschwitz was the sheer scale of the operation of kind of what they were doing and how many people they could go through. Um, but then here it was just the brutality of it, just like with garden tools, hoes and farming things that they were just killing people left, right and centre just for anything at all. And then the torture in and the pictures in the, uh, in the memorials and stuff and seeing all the schools and, and everything like that is really, it's not, it's not a nice thing to see. Um, and just it's ridiculous that our tour guide was just telling us that his auntie moved to um, America she was one of the refugees and his dad has only uh, he got in touch with her five years ago his both of his grandparents were killed it's just just crazy just ridiculous to think of the actual the, the scale of it of what actually happened and one one in four people one in four people were killed so imagine if you think like of your friendship groups, and then one in four of them would have been taken and killed. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I do have some shots, but obviously they're not the nicest to look at. The next, yeah, we're here for two nights, and then we're on to Ho Chi Minh, to Vietnam. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, we'll do this, this kind of next really small sector to Ho Chi Minh on our own though, so. Um, yeah, we get in the bus tomorrow, it's got a Wi-Fi bus, uh, so that's going to be a, a real weird experience, a Wi-Fi bus, having one of those again. Um, yep, so on to Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam tomorrow, hopefully going to meet up with my stepsister somewhere, um, somewhere near there anyway, but yep, so we will catch up again with you soon. Last stop for food before the border crossed in, 25 minutes, and then we cross over into Vietnam. But yeah, we're nearly there. Autumn's not allowed into Vietnam because she's ginger and I'm really afraid but Charlie soon, don't make jokes like that right now. Imogen's also ginger so she's not coming in. I've got a ginger beard, I'm only allowed halfway in and then I've got to turn back. <laughs> 